is HTML, a programming language. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I want to talk about HTML and whether or not it's a programming language. Now I see this online all the time. People angrily, angrily argue about whether or not HTML is a programming language or not. And that's what we want to talk about in this video. But before we get started with that, just want to let you know very quickly that there is another couple of days left on the special Aspen birthday sale over at CodingMe.com. You can get total membership, regularly priced $198, just $49. Use coupon code ASPEN5. Also, the new Python book is almost finished. Go to CodingMe.com forward slash Python book. Sign up for the mailing list to get notified when the book is finished. Also, you'll get into the sweepstakes and the first place winner gets a free $198 Codemy membership. Second place winner gets a copy of the book. That's cool. Also, be sure to join the Codemy.com YouTube channel membership program so you can take part in the weekly Python coding challenges. There's a little button underneath every video, the join button, just click that if you're interested. So, is HTML a programming language? Is it a proper programming language? The answer is no. It is not even remotely close to being a real programming language. So why is that? Well, what makes a real programming language? All programming languages do pretty much the same way. They just all do it slightly differently. They all have data types. They have ways to store data, variables, lists, arrays, hashes, dictionaries, whatever you want to call them in whatever programming language, there's a way to store data and retrieve it later. HTML doesn't have that. All programming languages have loops that you can loop around and do stuff. HTML doesn't have that. All programming languages have logic, if else statements. There's nothing like that in HTML. All programming languages have functions, or some call them methods, a way to run little programs inside your program. HTML doesn't do that. Depending on the programming language, it may have classes and things like that. Nothing even remotely like that in HTML. HTML is not a programming language, and I understand why people get confused. You fire up your Sublime Text Editor, you start writing HTML code, and it looks like other code. You know, it changes colors, there's different symbols and stuff. It looks like code, and it is code. It's just not programming programming language code. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a markup language. And it's not the only one. There's lots of markup languages out there, but they're a very specific thing. They mark up text. So with HTML, you have an opening tag and a closing tag. And whatever's in between those tags gets marked up. HTML, markup language. Programming languages don't do anything remotely like that. There is no opening and closing tags for a variable. It's just a variable. Programming languages and markup languages are two very different things. They're used for different purposes. One's not better or worse than the other, they're different tools used for different things. And I wish people would stop arguing about this because it is silly. There is no remote way that HTML is a programming language. So what do you guys think? Comment below, is HTML a programming language? Have I convinced you? Have I not convinced you? Are you sure it's a programming language? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you guys are interested in me creating an HTML course, let me know. I will pop that out in a couple of days. HTML is not that difficult to do, so I haven't really done a comprehensive tutorial on it. But if you guys are interested, I'll definitely do that. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget that special coupon code ASPEN5 over at Codemy.com for the next couple of days. You want to get total membership to Codemy.com, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, the PDFs of all my best-selling Cody books, all for just $49. That's a one-time fee, nothing monthly, nothing yearly, nothing more to pay ever. You get all future courses at no extra charge. They just show up in your account. Use coupon code ASPEN5 for the next couple of days, regularly priced $198. And also, if you're interested in the weekly Python coding challenges, hit the little join button below this video. It's $4.99 cents a month. Not very much. YouTube takes care of all that. You can cancel at any time. So check that out if you're interested. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do all kinds of cool coding challenges. And if you want to take part in that, start leveling up your Python skills, definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. So my name is John Elder from CodingMe.com and I'll see you in the next video.